Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn your picture into mini planet like this one. I'm going to use Affinity Photo. I post two tutorials per week related to Affinity software. So if you are interested in, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, here we are in the new blank document. I'm using built-in stock studio on the right side to search for free image. Here it is, Little Island. I recommend this kind of picture when we got sky and water at the edge of the image. That's the easiest case scenario for many planet. Of course, you can do it with different images like cities and stuff like that, but it will be a little bit harder for you to merge edges. I will show you what I mean in a moment. All right, I'm rescaling the picture. As you can see, I got this white area below because today we are working on square artboard. That's the must. So we will stretch that down. It's look not nice right now, but don't worry. We will distort this whole image around the point, around the circle. Let's offset the main image and make a duplicate of it. Right click on the layer, duplicate. And so we got the exact copy and we can place it here to fill this gap. Okay, by offsetting the image, we can kind of see how both edges will join together. Let's match visible so we got new layers at the top now i can delete both copies below i will work on this new merge layer like this so now we see this edge by offsetting this image we create this edge in on the image not on the side so now we can work with other tools to make this transition smooth that's the main goal here before we can distort this image into planet we must make this transition smooth so i'm using in painting brush that's the easiest approach we can adjust the size and the hardness of this tool as well all right a little bit bigger and let's get started as you can see if you got image like this, we're talking about island, you got sky at the top and the water at the bottom. So it's really easy to match those elements together. We don't need to be very precise, very focused on that. If you got more complex structures like buildings, roads, forest, then you need to go a little bit slower, maybe use even more advanced tools. So if you're a beginner, I recommend you to play with islands, water and sky at first. And then when you've got some experience, you can try with harder images. All right, I'm just blending both, merging both using in painting brush, very nice tool. All right, few extra touches here and there to make it a little bit more random. All right, we got this gap here at the horizon as you can see let's zoom in a little bit i'm using shortcut here command plus to zoom in command minus to zoom out that's handy way to navigate around your document all right so everything looks smooth except this one point over here as you can see even i use in painting brush on it it will still keep this little gap in between so let's use a very basic method, just normal lasso. We will select part of this water here, just copy and paste that, move it above. All right, now we will match this element with the existing image, match down. And we can use in painting brush to smooth out the colors here. It's not perfect, but it's much better than having this very stiff gap in between all right that should be good enough for our little planet our offset line is less visible right now and after we distort that around the point around the circle it will be even better Okay, our image is almost ready to be turned into mini planet. Let's flip it. So I will rotate everything 180 degrees. Our sky need to be below. That's the rule. And at least 50% of your image should be sky. All right, filters, distort, and we go for rectangle to polar. 
here it is our little mini planet thanks to our previous action that we offset and merge two images we don't have any line showing where the image end so it's seamless that's great i just make a copy of my image i duplicate the layer just in case now i add mask on it and i will make a gradient inside the mask not on the layer with the planet i'm working inside the mask now so the mask will hide part of the image where we got the black spot on the gradient will be hidden so we kind of make this part of the sky hidden like this this way we can put our own sky below that layer to get better result all right so i apply mask and now i'll pick the color from the previous one this was the original one i'm picking the color from it i will use a very basic rectangle tool to draw a square to cover the whole artboard and now i'll place this square below my planet with the mask here it is thanks to this mask we make part of this image invisible and we can see through it we can see the blue sky below nice if you don't like the square shape of your artboard you can use crop tool now at this point of your project to adjust the size of your artboard also you can adjust the position of the planet no need to be at center of your artboard all right so now, now it's a good point to make adjustment to the artboard itself i will stick with the square all right now just few little details and we are done i'm going to use patch tool to remix the texture in the center a little bit usually the texture in the center is really the form because we this is the the point in the middle where everything is wrapped around this little point right so the texture there can be really really deformed so we will randomize this a little bit using patch tool so i just selecting area with patch tool and then i move my cursor to new texture to give them new sample of the texture to replace this area i was selected before that's how patch tool will operate so you make selection then you move your cursor away from it to pick a new texture all right so i'm just randomizing this water texture in the center a little bit and this is also the way how you can remove all points that can give away your manipulation so if by any mistake by any chance you duplicate some elements we got exactly two same trees or boats on the sea and you want to get rid of one you can also use this tool to replace that part of the picture with different texture different feel all right i remix the texture in the center of the planet a little bit and i think i will duplicate the whole planet and on that copy we will apply a blur so i will actually blur the center of the planet a little bit so make this texture softer now it's a little bit too strong in my case all right i apply the radial blur to this duplicate of the planet now i can use the slider to adjust how strong the blur should be this will make the texture much softer for me all right now i will use this mask that is already here to hide the blur only keep the blur inside at the center i don't want everything to be blurred right so for that let's use radial gradient again like we did before this time much smaller so only the center of the sphere of the planet is blur make the texture a little bit softer up there all right so we got the copy with the blur original planet blue sky one more element before we finish let's add a new pixel layer at the top and again we will refer to the tool we used before today gradient tool this time not in the mask but on the layer itself it will be radial one like previously from the light color color to dark color in my case i will match this dark color with the sky so this will be really dark blue like this a little bit of texture that will be also nice 
and I will change blending mode to overlay here. So this final layer at the very top will cast some kind of spotlight. So make my planet a little bit brighter and make the background gradually darker. And it's how you can turn your photo into mini planet. Thank you for sticking me to the end of this tutorial and check my YouTube channel for more learning content, especially for Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. And I will see you in my next tutorial.